Welcome back to PowerballOne.com. We've got our LS engine painted up now. Before we start bolting parts on, we really need to go through and make some of the custom brackets that don't exist yet. It's pretty easy to build some of these brackets. You just really need some cardboard, some aluminum, a bandsaw, and a sander. Later down the line, you know, these pieces may be available for you just to buy and bolt on and make things really simple. We're gonna do an alternator bracket. Instead of putting the coils on the valve cover like stock, we're gonna move them down to the side of the engine because we're gonna have a lot of space there we're not using. We're gonna put the LS control box on the back of the head. We're gonna put the oil filter on the back of the head so it'll be nice and easy to plumb down to the dually oil pan. And then we're also gonna put a little bracket on the back that'll hold the wiring harness. And it'll also will hold the uh, little start relay and the 35 amp breaker as well. So let's get started doing that. So we're gonna start with our alternator bracket. Just made a couple of cardboard templates. Um, pretty simple to do. It's going to bolt off the head here, and then we got the little swing arm piece that'll come off the top like that. Just cut those out on the bandsaw, and this is what we ended up with here. This little piece here, it's just going to bolt right to the head. Just something like that, nice and simple. Let's just tighten one of those up real quick. The belt I'm going to use on this is a 42 inch belt and we're going to run off the, the front six rib on the factory serpentine kit. That way you don't have to build anything else. So really that belt will just go on. There's your adjustment there and that'll be good and tight. We'll take and have to finish these brackets up a little bit, you know, clean the edges, make them nice and smooth and send them out for coating before we actually install them on the engine permanently. Now let's move on to the next bracket. Okay, for the coils, these are the stock coils. Normally they mount up on the valve cover, but really didn't want them up there. That's kind of ugly. So we're gonna take and put them down next to the engine. We're gonna use the factory brackets and wiring harness. So this is basically the only wiring we're gonna use from the original engine. Here's the MSD coils, which are gonna give us much better fire than the factory stuff. And then that's what we're gonna mount up down there. So I made a nice little, nice little bracket here out of aluminum that's just going to bolt right onto the side of the block using the top old motor mount holes. And then we take the coil bracket and we've got some little spacers here and we tap these so we'll put the bolt in through there put the little half inch spacer on and just kind of run it up into that hole like that. Then you'd go through and tighten all those down. That'll hold it tight. Our wiring harness is gonna come in from the back underneath and we'll plug right into here so it'll be able to fire all the coils from our LS MSD control box. Then our plug wire, nice little MSD wires, they're just gonna pop onto the coils and then right onto the plug. And you got a nice clean look. All this would be down under the headers. Okay, for our LS control box, we're gonna mount it up on the back of the head right here. So the same thing with a little cardboard template made, set it up where it's going to bolt through, where the box is going to mount. Then made a little aluminum plate that'll just bolt onto the back of the head. You tighten that down. And then we'll use the little rubber mounts that come with the MSD box. They'll attach into the four holes here. And then the box will set on the rubber mounts and then the screws will go in to hold the box in place. One of these plugs fires the cam sensor and the crank sensor. And then the other one does the coils, which is basically your ignition system. So that's where that'll sit right there. And then we'll have the little relay for it that's required. We'll bolt off the back of it. And we'll show that during the wiring application. Now let's do our oil filter bracket. We want to put our oil filter right up here. That way it's close to where the oil um, lines come out from the oil pan. We'll be able to just make nice short little lines right into our filter. If you wanted to run a cooler, you could do that too, but we're not going to in this application. It's the same thing, cardboard template. You know that by now. And it is just going to bolt right in here. And it'll end up with three bolts in it. And then we're gonna take the filter and tapped into this. That way we don't have any nuts exposed on the back side. So it'll be a nice clean look when it's when it's all together. 
And that's where your oil filter will sit. Nice and easy to get to the filter, lines are out of the way. Be quick and easy when you want to do oil change. For our wiring, I made a little bracket that's just going to come off the, the back of the block on the other side of the motor plate and the bell housing and then to another point here. So it'll attach about like this. Our little bus bar will go on top. Our start solenoid will come off of this side and this is where our little breaker will be. Since we've mounted our coils down low in the block, just made some nice little covers, go over the valve cover, give us a nice place to do some custom paint and put a decal, give it a clean finished look. Thanks for watching, powerbell1.com.